guys, welcome back. All right, so in today's video, I want to talk about something that's a little confusing, especially if you are new or intermediate in Procreate. So Procreate, as we all know, is an awesome tool for drawing, for digital art, but there are a few things about it that aren't as user-friendly as they probably should be, even for somebody with, like I come from a really strong um, Photoshop background, and coming into Procreate trying to learn how to draw, I was like, why can't I do this? Where is this? Why does this tool not exist? They do. You just need to know how to use them. So what we're talking about is tolerance sliders. Now, what the heck does that even mean? So tolerance in a um, graphic program, a drawing program, is basically how strong a feature is. So... For example, if you look, here's a drawing that I started. It's just an outline at this point. You see here on the side, there are no um, color layers. It's all just outlines. Now, say I wanted to color in just her feet. So I can select her feet layer, choose a color, drag and drop. And you can see that in this instance, that worked great. But what happens if you drag it and it does that. Or conversely, if you drag your color and it does this. So if you look, you see all these little gray and white dots at the edge of the drawing. That means that your tolerance is too low. So in order to adjust the fill tool tolerance, the fill tool being the drag and drop color, you're going to drag your color to where you want it and then hold. And you can see that it dropped the color. Now I have not picked up my stylus. If you watch, look at the top center. It says color drop threshold 0.0%. If I slide my stylus to the right, that number is going to go up. And do you see at the top that blue line sliding across? And now if we zoom in, you can see that that color went all the way to the edge of that line, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, if you take your color to do the second foot and it drops full like this, see where it says threshold is 100? Same concept, just drag down to the left to lower that threshold. So some pieces will require a higher threshold than others do. This one, for example, is one that I drew myself, so I know what tools I use to draw it. But if I were to take, say, this shading pen let me create a new layer here and draw a circle like this. Now, dropping color into this space is going to be a little more difficult. See that? If something has a blurred or a soft edge that you're trying to fill, you're going to need a higher tolerance to get it all colored in. So I could take this in, drag to the, to the right, and... I went all the way to the edge and I did not have enough. So I'm going to undo, drag again, and then it continues to go up from where you left it. So this one I have to be at about 94% to get it to fill in this space. So color dropping for the fill tool, pretty simple. But there's another tool in Photoshop that uses the same type of slider concept, and that's going to be your selection tool. So I'm going to stay on this layer that we just created with this uh, soft circle. And this time I'm going to go to my selection tool. Now, right now you can see at the bottom here, this is set to automatic, which is what you want. So I'm going to take my stylus into the area outside of the circle. Touch. And you see how if I drag this way, it's selecting more of the circle. Now let's try that on the inside. I'm going to zoom in here. So touch, set to automatic, and you want this to add because I'm adding selection. Remove would obviously be taking away selection. So I'm going to touch and drag and see how it's selecting more of the image. So touch and drag. And now when you let go, anything in blue is what is selected. So when I go to say move, 
the blue went away because now I'm just working with the selected pixels. And this isn't going to do anything because there's nothing in there hardly. But you can see that I grabbed that softness in this circle. So if I get rid of this and zoom in, you can see that there's a much harsher line compared to the outside of this circle. So tolerance sliders, they're a little tricky sometimes because for one, like I said, they're not intuitive at all. You would expect like here how you have your opacity and your um, sizing sliders. You would expect that that would be the type of slider that you would have. Like you would touch it with a stylus and then use your other hand to select the tolerance. That's not how they did it. Now, as a veteran of the program, I can say, okay, this is really easy because I can just do it with one hand. I don't need to, you know, use two hands. I can do it just with the, the hand I'm working with and then drag, lower, raise, lower, raise. But if you don't know it's there, especially if you're trying to fill color, it can be incredibly frustrating. So you're like, why isn't this working? This should just fill. Sometimes it won't. That's going to be your culprit 99% of the time. So I hope that this was understandable <laughs> because it, it can be a little tricky to figure out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other Procreate questions or confusions that you would like me to tackle, leave it down in the comments and I will definitely do my best to get those questions answered. If I don't know the answer, you can bet I'll find it because I like for stuff to just work. And when it doesn't work, I need to know why. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.